Today, Sandy Lerner is a successful entrepreneur, businesswoman, and devoted philanthropist. Lynn Bosak is the CEO of XKL, a leading provider of optical networking equipment. Just over 20 years ago, together they formed Cisco Systems and pioneered the widespread commercialization of local area network technology. After graduating with master's degrees in statistics and computer science from Stanford University, Sandy Lerner was promoted to the Director of Computing Services for the Stanford Graduate School of Business. Today, Ms. Lerner holds four honorary PhD degrees and is recognized for her philanthropic endeavors and other charitable activities, which include working with animal welfare and animal rights organizations. In the mid-1980s, after earning a master's degree in computer science from Stanford University, Lynn Bosak was a key contributor to the emerging network technology. He worked on ARPANET, the early Department of Defense project that was the genesis of today's internet. Now as the CEO of XKL, Lynn Bosak continues to drive technology innovation in his quest to bring fundamental change to worldwide telecommunications. The genesis of Cisco came about while both were at Stanford. Lerner and Bosick and a team of fellow staff members successfully linked the university's 5,000 computers across a 16-square-mile campus area, creating an early LAN system. While commonplace today, this technology was rare in the mid-1980s. In 1986, Sandy Lerner and Lynn Bosick formed Cisco Systems. Through Lerner and Bosick's leadership, a corporate foundation was established, which allowed Cisco to grow and dominate the marketplace almost overnight. Cisco went on to initiate such technology as the first high-performance multi-port interface line cards designed specifically for routers and new sophisticated routing protocols. Networks throughout the world still rely on these and other innovations whose beginnings can be traced to the early work of BOSAC and Lerner. For developing the land and bringing it to the marketplace, and for the creation of Cisco Systems, one of the most important computing companies in history, it is with pride and gratitude that we present the Computer Entrepreneur Award to Lynn Bosak and Sandy Lerner. As we all know from recent headlines, Cisco is continuing to re redefine and upgrade our expectations of speed and bandwidth. They're calling it the next generation of the internet and it all started with Lynn and Sandy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lynn Bosick and Sandy Lerner. What a long, strange trip it's been. One that begins and ends with our parents, who made us who and what we are, while well, having no idea as to what we did or were trying to do, they all believed absolutely in our ability to do it. In addition, my parents were not only the first investors, they were also our first cable fabrication department. <laughs> Sandy's aunts, Doris and Eunice, both here today, fought valiantly with our bad copier in an effort to help us win a contract that, quite frankly, we had no chance of winning. We need to thank not only the many shoulders upon which we stood, but also those with which we stood. John Morgridge infamously described Cisco's early customers as the lunatic fringe. <laughs> Sandy and I are intensely proud and humbled to have been part of that so-called fringe visionaries and risk takers who believed that a publicly available protocol and a few fellow nerds with five dollars and a truly arcane company name could bring the DOD's vision of a new ARPANET to the world. Uh, my, what a difference 25 years makes in the definition of the word nerd. <laughs> it may not be obvious, but it does take a world to beta test the internet, or an internet as it should properly be said. Many of the people that I'm going to mention 
um, have moved on to other fields, but they uh, stand in our memories as folks that uh, contributed in various ways. Some of the giants included Chuck Hedrick at Rutgers, Clive Dawson at MCC, Mike St. John's of both the DCA and the NSA, Gary Kunis at Boeing, and Robert Michaels of HP Labs. Our first customers were a veritable who's who of that lunatic fringe, who also happened to be some of the best and brightest this world has ever produced. They gave us ideas, code, and encouragement, and kept us centered by routinely calling at 4 a.m. whenever they had a problem with their router or a better way of doing things. Together, we all put a W in WAN. Of this group, I believe Richard Triano and Robert Michaels are here this evening. We thank them. We are immeasurably grateful to everyone mentioned above and the scores who we can't mention. But most grateful of all for each other. We have taken a few separate paths since, but we remain very much Len and Sandy as we were on that uh, fateful day in December of 1984 when we founded a company with a name that uh, no one knew. Our various enterprises still start with an ampersand, a symbol for conjunction, still standing and still standing together. Profoundly do we thank the Computer Science Society for being honored here today. Whatever is in store for the rest of our trip, we go on in very good company indeed. Thank you. <laughs>